So one of the most important things that's going on uh, in today's digital real estate is we're evolving and redefining the definition of an asset. It's no more a physical device. At the same time, it's just not a workload either. You have enormous amount of asset types that are coming online. And what used to be a closed network is no more a closed network. These are actually running on your IP protocol and some of them are misconfigured and are exposed to the internet. So the blast radius of every organization today, small, medium, big, large public sector, has exponentially grown. At the same time with AI and with machine learning and with digital transformation, we are opening up our systems to transact with higher rates using APIs. What that really means is you have an exposure data as well. In order to interact with other systems, we exchange search, we have workloads, we have the traditional assets, and we have what we call virtual assets. What used to be one exposure now is quadruple, or in some cases, exponential. That's why it's very important to take a look at your digital real estate both from an external perspective, that's what attackers are scouting the internet every few seconds to see what assets are exposed to the internet, what exposures are there, how can they prioritize those exposures that will give them a lead into breaking into an organization's digital infrastructure. And from there, they can laterally move or be persistent on that network for a long, long periods of time before they launch a real attack. And that's been expanded now to ransomware. That's been now expanded that to niche states to advance persistent. So that's why it's very important to understand your external attack surface, your internal attack surface, elevate it to understand your exposures and how do you manage your exposures. When you start looking at exposures that would create an attack surface for an attacker, the way it should look at it is, first, you need to have a very solid program to discover your assets. I mean, I would term this as asset data as a service. Pretty much trying to understand your assets extracting the data from these assets. It can be multiple attributes. The data can be identities, it can be access, it can be software running on those, it can be the APIs you enable, it can be the applications running on it, it can be the software you built on it, the third parties, right? On an average, every organization will have 60 to 70 different sources of data coming at you. One, you should have the ability to ingest the data. Two, you have the ability to normalize the data. Three, you should have the ability to label the data. Four, you should have the ability to prioritize it based on an attacker's intent. Five, you should be able to now understand what your priorities are, validate them to see, is this real? Does it exist in your environment? One, you want to eliminate false positives. Two, you want to look at what did you miss so you don't have false negatives. Once you have a clear prioritization, then you need to build up a very robust remediation strategy. And when you start looking at data, you get two facets of data, structured data, unstructured data. The real challenge you have is that structured data, it'll be machine readable, easy to process, easy to normalize. In practicality, in reality, that's not the case. The unstructured data is noisy, it has missing data, and it's very hard to make it machine readable. You have to prep it, you have to cleanse it, and you want to understand this asset and what's been causing the exposures that would lead attackers to take advantage of. So you would need to discover your assets first, enumerate what's on the assets, Start looking for exposures, prioritize those exposures, validate your exposures, and then start looking at remediation. So I call it the principle of DEER. Discover, 
enumerate exposures remediate d e e r you want to be able to discover validate prioritize remediate and automate this workflow and this is where service management can come into play as well where you're taking your device management writing and automating tickets to developers and to your ops teams and your security teams and then doing automated workflows to ensure that remediation is happening with very little human intervention. So this is really how you would take this whole concept of a data, harmonize it, and make it very actionable so your decisions are done much faster at operations. <laughs>